bit like a door, closed by itself. From here, close by, there's like a dungeon over here, too. Have a look, dude. That's terrifying. It's, it's like. Step back in time with us as we explore the abandoned walls of an incredible castle, originally built in 1633 by the Briars family. This stunning castle was once home to a wealthy family and was filled with life and luxury. But, as history marches forward, the castle was abandoned during the French Revolution and left to the mercy of time. Decades passed and a wealthy English antique collector saw the potential in the castle and bought it, with plans to bring it back to life in 2015. However, the renovation works were suddenly stopped, leaving the castle and its antique collection untouched. Join us as we journey through this stunning castle, filled with history and beauty. From the ornate paintings to the antique walking sticks and other unique finds, every item in the castle tells a story. Discover the history of the Briars family, the wealthy English collector, and the reasons behind the stopped renovation work. Get a glimpse into the life and luxury that once filled the castle, and see what time has left behind. This abandoned castle is truly a time capsule of the past, waiting to be explored and uncovered. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are in Belgium, in another abandoned castle. It's very rare. I'm here with Tuscan right now. Hi. The first time coming with me. Yes, it's the, the first, first time. He did also Urbex in the past, so... <laughs> On myself, but uh, without the equipment. Only for yourself, so only for myself. Just a hobby. Just a hobby. But we are now in a big chateau here in the French region of Belgium, and it's from a collector that actually lives in England, and he collected all type of art, literally. It's mind blowing, you guys. So big this place. It's like I don't know. I don't have words for it. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. So watch a few video. We won't record it because many amazing stuff is left behind. I want you to smash a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and. Let's get straight to it guys, there are just so many things to see actually, so yeah, just keep your eyes wide open because the things you're going to see will blow your mind, so let's do this. Alright, you have lucky with the weather now, it's dry, the sun is still out, but it's still getting darker at 5.30pm here in Belgium because of winter, but you see already many old stuff like closets and so on, tables books sort of desk that's kind of creepy that's a hat <laughs> and it's a sort of metal box but of course it's empty yep i don't know why he abandoned his home Maybe because he lives in England and he had the time to come here a lot. And maybe he sold it, I don't know, but it claims to be abandoned since 2015. But the decay is crazy too, like many damage and cobwebs and so on. They put like all the stuff in one room, like here. It's just crazy of how many things is left behind. We will see many rooms like this. That's a huge enemy. So I'm not gonna spend that much time over here. It's just a lot of mess. But here in that parts that is actually kind of untouched. This closet here. It's impressive. Oh, empty. We see a stove. That's an antique stove. You can feel actually the past in this house. I have the feeling something is with us around here. Especially something paranormal? Yes, it sounds weird, but I have something with... A connection? A connection, yes. Some strange thing is present here. Yes, present, that was the word. Yeah, maybe. But actually it's a chateau, so that means a lot of history is behind it. I never know who lived here as first, eh? Yes. To check the staircase, guys. That's unbelievable. A typical chateau staircase. Uh, is this like blood? Blood? Yes, it looks like. Well, I think it 
it's paint, but it looks like blood there. I think it's paint, that's a giant basement, man. We do it later. <laughs> yes. Like, here we got some pictures, strange pictures about strange things. But we barely can walk in actually, so check it out. Fine room, a microwave, another stove. This man was a billionaire. Yeah, he was, man. Ah, he probably still is, but I don't know why he abandoned. It's actually sad at one point yeah, to see a place like this yes. left to its feet. Oh. All the glass is still inside actually. Oh. It's all crystal, you can see it. <laughs> yes. It's all crystal. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Wow. Have a look guys. Look at the walls. Yo, it's all made of all. Oh, that's actually crazy. Yes. This is real history. That's indeed history, man. Check I it out, guys. I'm quite sure this is the man that lived here. Wow. Okay, this is also something uh, paranormal to me, and also that guy. It's marbles, no? Marbles, it's something weird. Mm. And that's indeed a portrait of the owner. Eh? Well, maybe one of the family members. That's the Queen of England. Yeah. Elizabeth or something or Victoria. Looks like know. a queen, yeah? Yes. But that's an English man. But a real Lord of all, man. That's very special. That's his mother. I guess. Maybe those are the, the parents of him, eh? I have a creepy feeling about this place. Something is uh, for me. Maybe if something is still haunts this place, you never know. Yes. But check the stove, man. Yeah. It's kind of heavy as well. And all these special books. Yes. History. And a share, wow. It's a lot of. Yeah, even this you don't see that much anymore. This That's was an old toy for uh, children when they were uh, small and little. Oh yeah, check it out. M Marshall Rose. It's not uh, cheap. It still works. That's creepy, the mannequin. Yes, but uh, the the woodwork. And the walls, they're just incredible. Yes. But you see, it's, it's uh, pointed with, uh, I don't know how you say this in English, but... Uh, to cover, uh, to, uh, to I'm, stabilization. I'm, I'm, yes. Otherwise, because of voltage, it can collapse. Eh? Yes. A wow. zero zero. But this, uh, maybe. The wire. I'm quite sure there's something to plan. Like, you see all these cables. That's a uh, fire protection, a yes. fire alarm, I think. Yes. I think it's still visited, but I don't know. It still looks the fire alarm or protection. But. Oh, check it out. Yes. And there's a bullet, see? There's a bullet. Wow. We have the books as well. This is behind. Place like this in Belgium is very rare because you won't find much castles anymore. And especially with everything left behind, most of the castles now that are abandoned is completely emptied already in no time. So, but this one, that's absolutely crazy. And this is the kitchen area here. And even here, so many stuff is left behind. Oh, all the food. Oh, check it out through beer. Oh. <laughs> Magnificent. Wow. She or he loves to cook a lot. Mm -hmm. That's true. There's like another door here. Yes. This place is nice. 
Oh, it's locked. All right, guys, normally we were about to go that area, but I decided to show you already the best part of this place. We can go upstairs as well, but first of all, I want to show you this beautiful room here, and then we're going to show you the rest, which is actually some messy rooms and lots of furniture. But check it out, a lot of things sticks. Bit of very nice style. I guess they are like almost it's possible to around hundreds or close to 200 years old walking sticks. Yeah. And here we got the biggest living room, which is actually kind of looking clean. And also the reason why I want to show this beautiful rooms as first because otherwise it will be dark and like small 30 minutes then we can't see nothing anymore and now we still have a little bit light from outside so that's very good the Chinese closet filled with books Chinese seat as well now they love playing card games and here It must be so expensive to have a painting like this. That's so insane. Even this. That's crazy. And the fireplace. This one still works with coals. You can see it. Actually, here and then you have to heat it up with this for a pressing air, you know. And that's a baby chair or something. Really, that painting is a sleeping treasure. Mm -hmm. If you know how many money it's worth, it's I think it will blow your mind actually. Yes, yes. Here is a picture of a lady, but. She's a beautiful lady, but I don't know if she had something to do with the, with the family who lived here, I don't know. For my love, Chris, your gun breeds. For my love, Chris, it's actually in English, see? Yes. So maybe she is one of the family members now. Yes. But it's also strange, look, the castle, it's something... There's something uh, like I don't like about this place. See, this was from the year, like, I guess, 1817. It's like a sticker, I guess, maybe, but it's very old, you can see. Yeah, and even the doors, it's actually a special look. All the woodwork, the doors, though, crazy. And here, we got like another beautiful seat with another, well, a bigger painting over here. You clearly can see the people with money doesn't take care of the of the property they own. Eh? All these antiques. It's yes. crazy. Look, pictures from back in his days. It's crazy. It's like a fortress. It's all from here actually. And also something Chinese, I don't understand Chinese. Yeah, that's Chinese, yeah. I can read Russian, but not very Chinese. <laughs> but I see lots of walking sticks. Here is another one. And there are lots of more pictures. Yeah. Well, he had a passion for antiques, that's for sure. Now the view from here, guys, check it out. So we're back in the room with the piano. Just heard like a door closing by itself. From here, close by. We just started taking pictures. You heard the door, man. I heard the door and it was very cool. Yeah, it's creepy. Hopefully, no one is, is here. Look 
because it's getting darker outside already. This hallway is eerie. You can see it's like a fortress. Here it's messy as well. But you see the helmets from construction workers. Well safety helmets, you see? That's also strange. So it seems like they want to renovate this? Or I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's too haunted. <laughs> yes, but it's possible because I believe there exists more in this room than Look. just us people. Yeah, that's true, man. That's also strange why they did this. We want to close this. It's like it's an old building. Maybe someone is upstairs. Oh, bro. Dungeon over here too. Have a look, dude. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, probably used in the war. Ah, uh, you snuffing. It's a dead end. It's actually so creepy to see this. Alright. There's like one sort of room that they put like heating, heaters, I mean. And other strange stuff. And especially so much materials. Yeah. That's a big fire pit. <coughs> oh my god. That's there is something like the Sunday room. Back then in the days, there was existing in Belgium a uh, history Sunday room. It was a special room for uh, especially Sunday activity. Yeah? For the rich people. Yes, yes. Oh. Like uh, no one was allowed to go in there, only the house. Uh, Member of the keeper, or yes. the owner. Owner, a child, yes. Oh. And some people like it. Yes, the Sunday room was something special to rich families. <laughs> Only Wait. used at Sunday. <laughs> yes. Strange. Yes. Even here they put that. some old furniture. But all these workers' gear is crazy. Yes. If you can sell these things all together, I would take at least for all, all of it. <laughs> Look, for stabilization, so this means this building is becoming weak. Yes, and maybe upstairs, I don't know, oh, upstairs you want uh, walking in the This is uh, oh, walking boots and ammunition. Look. Yes, he was hunting. He, like he had a dog. 
It's still inside. This feels heavy. I might be in. I don't know how to open this. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's like. Like many lights. Oh, nails. Yeah, I thought it will be bullets. <laughs> now here's a stuffed deer set. Creepy. It's endless. There's just so many stuff. I kind of show you everything. That's sad. I have a strange feeling about this house because a week or two I had a dream about a big house, something left abandoned, and now I'm not in such a house <laughs> or castle. Maybe you had the vision. Yes. Last time I had a lot of vision. Try it out. And man, all these materials and tools. He had. This would be a good place for a, a new movie, The Shining. Yeah. You think the house is living, but you're actually in an empty house. That's true, man. But personally, I have a strange feeling here as well because I don't know how to describe it, but it's like something has literally fallen on us the whole time. Yes. And I, I know from being in abandoned places, it or uh, starting after a couple of minutes. Then you can actually encounter some activity and it will drain the battery so fast like my battery for my light was actually full and now I only got one bar left. So that means something at this compound is taking my battery level so for energy you know because spirits needs energy in order in order to move things and so on and that you that you know they are here with us. The whole environment exists through energy. Yeah. Since the day you were born, the first day, it it's was energy. Exactly, man. Like, I don't understand how people can let abandon this. It, it looks like it was going on to a renovation, but then it stopped because these lights are Yeah, not it's just sad. Yes. Sad and because if they want, they could make something like a tourist attraction about this about museum, this like a museum, yes, yeah. about the history, the past, about this place, yeah, exactly, man. But, uh, but that's not the case, yes. they just left it here to its fate, and then they are wondering that many things are stolen, you know, yes. Because this thing is a real treasure and we didn't walk in because you could go just to go inside without breaking the door. If I go to abandoned places and always check the door is open. If it's not open... Yeah, actually we got lucky that... Oh. oh. What the hell? We got lucky there was one window open. And I, I feel scared about above. Maybe asbestos? I don't know. Yes. Oh, check it out, bro. That's the first bathroom here. Oh, here I feel scared. I don't know, I feel something heavy. A pleasure. Yeah, I feel something uh, heavy here. I don't know why, but if I look to the bed, I feel... Whew. You don't feel kind of pressure on your chest? No. You? I, yeah, me, me, yes. I feel something. But I don't feel that much, but yes. here I feel okay now. Maybe something happened here. Yes. Oh, a strange why they did it like this, but you have to be careful because you don't know. Because it's a wooden floor and that can be so weak. Yeah. But seems I would be careful. Yeah. Because you're not sure, and if you fell down, it's painful. Yeah. But something happened. Yeah, it feels not right here actually now. It's just... See, it's like at the main floor. To put so many furniture in one room. That's strange. See? 
We even can't walk here anymore. Yeah. Look, all this stuff. Well, you can pass through, but you have to walk over the boxes and so on. I think I just like this one big mess. They put it all here in the in one room, eh? I heard it again. What? Uh, step. Uh, feet. I heard something. Footsteps. I'm not lying because, and it's not my imagination because I know the difference between what's real <laughs> and imagination. Oh. Well, at least this looks like a nice room here as well. They were really busy with renovation, but then they stopped. But why? Look at all these doors. Unbelievable. I will be for one minute now quiet and listen carefully. Well, the problem in these houses, we are now upstairs, yes. but downstairs, lots of things can happen already. So if now someone is actually the main floor, we won't hurt them, yes. because this place is so massive. And that's dangerous, because you don't know if something is inside here with us or not. I'm talking about real people. <laughs> but it seems like this is a... I'm curious, Children. Yes. but I'm curious about the past that happened here. Yeah, me too. But it's some someone too who was religious and he believed in the Pope, as you can see, that's like a Pope. Oh, a statue, yeah. But look, these are the grandfather's clocks. You know how expensive this is? Yes, I know. It's he with heavy bars in it, uh, mm -hmm. metal weight. But these seats looking comfortable. Yes. Roses. Mm -hmm. but that's fake. That's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Yes. Ah, okay. It's fake. Because I would say. But well, if it was real, that's not right. <laughs> yes. If it's real, then it wasn't okay. Jack, even this is special. Yes. That's heavy, man. It's heavy. Yes, it's heavy. But look at this. It's Salisbury Cathedral. But I don't know where it is. But it's a cathedral. Cathedral. And here, there's something from a shield, you know? Yes, it looks like uh, from. Uh, it, it's England. England. I get oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's England. Like that. But th it's this creepy. is also creepy. Yeah, that's actually antique, man. That's old. Yes. Wow. Alright, guys, we're gonna go back down. Because there's not much anymore on the first and second floor because the second floor is a complete barricaded and the staircase looks unsafe so we're gonna go to the basement now because it's already getting darker so I'm glad I already got explored the best rooms of this whole place and now it's the creepy basement because it's the best thing to do <laughs> Dude. Oh. Uh -huh. Toilet. Oh. Oh. You can go here Yeah, no. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a huge fireplace. Dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's strange. It's strange, yeah. There was a machine in the basement. They put like a sink here. Look, to pee. It seems strange, but 
They build afterwards. It's yeah? possible someone lives here. But why? In a basement. Look, a new man. Yes. Yes. But it's not connected, but. That's strange. I will be careful. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wait, what did you hear? Like peep? Yes. Maybe it's protected. Yes. I don't feel comfortable here in the basement. No. But look, it's collapsed. We can't go to there, right? No. It's safer for the, the window. The window, mm -hmm. yes. But I feel there's not so much. Like, like it's falling in it. Yeah, man. I don't know. Alright, guys, we're back at the main floor. We're gonna end this video right over here in this beautiful big room. With the big paintings. Very finished, guys. And this was incredible. Even though we couldn't explore all the rooms because of all the, all the mess. And it's so sad that the floors were actually unsafe. It was straight to collapse. That's the reason why they put like pillars there to stabilize the, the floors and so on. Whew, I'm out of breath. Literally. But oh, we did it, guys. But let me know down below what was your most favorite room of this place. Personally, I like this one here. And me, yeah. Hopefully, we're gonna find some more places like this in the future in Belgium, but. It's rare, like I said, it's very rare, so, yeah. This is something unique, you don't see this quite often in Belgium. Exactly. But the strange thing is, it's still almost intact, even after those, I don't know what years were. Yeah, there's like no dust on the table, yeah. nothing, eh? no dust at all. No dust. Normally, if I went to some stuff, it was dust, but I think this place still carries a so, or something from the past. Maybe something has taken care of this place. Like we saw a wash machine, a sink, a toilet, and a basement, but something new, like a new generator or something. That's but very bizarre. If you smell good. You smell good, eh? You smell, smell like also old. old people around here. Old Six and Six. it's already getting darker, so we got lucky. We both explored well, it was still clear outside. So, yeah, it's time to end this video, guys. To leave this place, hopefully, nothing following us home. Yes, <laughs> but <I hope> so. <laughs> yeah. then we can do the ritual. <laughs> so, again, like, subscribe, turn notifications, follow me on Instagram. You're gonna see it all down below. And we're gonna leave this place now, guys. And again, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.